Hello everybody, this is Mr. Faraway. Today I'm gonna teach you guys how to run the homebrew launcher using tube hacks. The homebrew launcher allows you to do a huge amount of things, like playing emulators, modifying save file, and other stuff. But first, in order to run the homebrew launcher, you have to install it using tube hacks. The link to the download page is on the screen but I also add it to the description box. When you go to this page, it will automatically scroll to the part that says preparing your SD card. Once you reach this part, all you gotta do is to click the Homebrew Starter Kit and it will start downloading right away. Once you've downloaded the zip file, you'll have to extract its contents to the root of the SD card you use on your 3DS. Once you've done that, the next part is gonna be on the 3DS. Remove your SD card from your computer and plug it back onto the 3DS. Now, turn on your 3DS and go to the home menu, then to settings. Here you can see your 3DS version. Make sure to take note of this, you're going to need it later on. Now you have to click on internet settings. Then, connection settings. Here, you have to choose the internet connection that you use. In my case, it's number one. Then, you gotta click change settings. After that, you must go to the second page. And then, click on DNS. Once you click there, it will be like this, set as yes, you have to change it to no, and then you have to click the tail setup. The first time you come here, your primary DNS is going to be just like the secondary DNS, with everything filled up as zeros. You will have to change this number from the primary DNS to the number I'm showing here, 107.211.140.065. Then you click OK, OK again, and save. Once you've saved, it will ask you to test the connection, but you don't really have to. Now let's go back to the home menu. You can only access the homebrew launcher through tube hacks if you change the DNS, however, the eShop won't work as long as you use the changed DNS. To be able to use eShop again, you're going to have to change the DNS settings back to yes. That will enable you to use the shop again. And to go back to use Homebrew Launcher, all you have to do is to change it back to no. Alright, so the next thing you gotta do is to open the YouTube app. Alright. Now it should be showing this screen. Remember that firmware version that we've checked before? Now is the time that we're going to use it. Scroll until you find your version. In my case, since I use an American 3DS XL in the 9.9 .9 version, I have to pick USA old 9.9.0. The normal 3DS, the 3DS XL and the 2DS are considered old. On the other hand, the new 3DS 
and the new 3DS XL are considered new. Alright, here we go. If it shows the screen, it's because it worked. Good job! But if it doesn't, no need to panic. Sometimes it crashes, and it's normal. Just turn off your 3DS and try again. From this screen, you can run a number of different homebrews, each more awesome than the last. In the next video, I'll teach you the most awesome things that you can do when you have the homebrew launcher on your 3DS. If you don't want to miss it, stay tuned. Also, if you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe. If you're already subscribed, remember to activate the notifications so that you never miss any new content. That's all for now. Stay tuned for the next tutorial. Thanks for watching and I see you guys in the next video.